guys welcome to my channel this is claire um so i'm going to show you different ways on how to use these uh baskets i picked them from 99 cent store and i thought they were really cute uh, and they're really strong so i decided to use them to make other items i'll link all the material that i used in the description box below in this project i'll also be using these wooden uh, pieces that i picked from lols For this first project, I'm using only one basket and one wooden plate, um, so I just place them all together and I'll be tracing out the basket using a pencil. And I'll be gluing them all together using E6000 and hot glue. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell so that you're updated every time that I upload. Thank you guys! To secure this bone more, I decided to also staple it down using um, this staple gun. Uh, it has round staples, um, so it was able to hold it all together with the board. And as you can see, it's all firm and steady and it won't come apart, so that's really good. I'm also going to use this one inch foam, I already had it at home. Um, so I'll just be wrapping it around um, this basket. I actually simply used um, hot glue to attach them um, together. And um, the only tricky part was because the lower part of the basket is smaller than the upper part. So I had to cut it at some point. I applied as much hot glue as I could to make sure this foam doesn't come off. And now I'll be covering the top part as well. I just cut a square foam. Uh, it's the same one inch and I just used hot glue and I'll be cutting it to size um, accordingly. So I kept cutting off the excess foam while gluing it down to cover up the entire wood piece. And now I'll be adding the batting using um, my spray glue. Um, this is basically to cover up all the rough edges so they're not seen underneath the fabric. So this is the fabric I picked from Joann's and uh, it's really cute and I'll be using it to cover up the entire piece. The fact that my base is metal, I can't staple it down so I'll just be using hot glue and it worked perfectly for that. I simply glued all the fabric down um, and then I'll be cutting off the excess from the top. And now I'll put this aside and work on the lower part. Um, I picked these legs from Lowe's uh, together with the round wood and I'll be spray painting them using this um, metallic gold. Yeah, I thought I would use three but then later I don't change my mind, I'll be using four legs. And because they are going to be on the fabric, I just wanted them to be covered so the paint doesn't come off and I'll be sealing them with this sealer that I also picked from those. I use my cutting mat to help me divide this into four quadrants and I'll also be drawing a smaller circle and this is the base of the metallic basket. Because of the fabric, I cut out cardboard and this is what I'll be gluing first down um, before I screw in the wood. 
I simply use hot glue to bond it to the metal and then I'll be screwing them down. I would already pre-drilled uh, holes where the screws will be passing. So because the downer part is metal, I use the self-drilling nails and they work perfectly for this. And then I also pre-drilled the holes where I would be placing the legs. Please don't forget to add um, wood glue as your bonding base. To add a little bit of design onto the piece, I decided to cut out small uh, rows of the form and I'll be covering them with the fabric using hot glue. So I used a uh, hot glue to bond them on the lower part um, where the fabric joins the wood uh, just to give it a little bit of character in a rock form. I'm going to be adding small strips from this um, tape that I picked from Walmart. It's really nice and shiny. I just used hot glue to bond it onto the fabric uh, along the rope side. And this is how they'll be looking like. Really, really beautiful. The mat really helped me to cut these pieces. Um, so if you want this mat, I'll link it in the description box below. I then also decided to cover the legs with the tape as well, just adding extra glue uh, on the side so they don't come off. Using the same tape, I just uh, bonded it onto a placemat. These ones are found in uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, and then I cut long strips, which I'll be attaching onto the wood using hot glue. I cut only three pieces and there will be enough so this is what I'll be putting um, on the sides of the of this tool. The color combination is just so fabulous. I love the gold and I'm so glad I really um, added some shine to the legs as well. It brought us a different effect. Um, this was so cute. It's a um, really nice tool to use and it's a good add to your home decor. Um, I think it really, really looks so elegant. So um, I decided to make a second piece as well. This is going to be really a simple stand. This next project is really easy and simple to make. So I'm simply going to use these two baskets and I'll be bonding them together using E6000 and hot glue. As you can see, they're not really coming apart. Um, so for the best, I'm going to be using these gems that I got from uh, Walmart simply because you can easily see the best through um, the, the wires. I'm also using this round wood. Um, I only covered it with black on one end and this will be the best. Uh, so I glued it the same way using E6000 and hot glue. And then I'll also be stapling it down. As you can see, these are the staples that I use to staple it down to the wood. For the upper part, I'm simply covering it with uh, contact paper. Mm -hmm. 
and then i'm going to be using this bling wrap i ordered it online so i'll link that in the description box below if you want it um i just added extra hot glue to the bone uh, to cover up the middle part And then I also used the same wrap uh, to cover up the wood piece and that was it for this stand. I think it's really simple just for you know display um, you can add a mirror as well and just add any piece you want. It was really strong it wasn't falling so I'm not sure how much it can hold but it was really cute. I really loved how the projects came out. This is really a perfect way to use simple material but give us something really nice for our home. I hope you guys love this. Please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video and as well as subscribe to my channel. I thank you guys so so much for your support and I'll see you next time. Bye!